Welcome back to a video here on the second channel. This is Minecraft 1.18 pre-release 7. We are now one week away from the release of this update and the pre-releases are getting smaller. So in this one, there is simply a adjustment to a change in a last one and a few bug fixes. This is the number of features in cave biomes that have increased somewhat. Now let's also go and check out a couple of tweaked texture changes. This is uh, an older version of Minecraft on the right and here you can see the new dark oak texture, a stripped dark oak that's been implemented and apparently the path block has been adjusted a little bit as well. I think the side texture matches the top one better but one of the reasons that I'm showing you this right here is because it's uh, one of the dripstone caves that I checked out in the last pre-release and what they had done is reduce the amount of features i.e. the amount of dripstone stuff in this area and the changes that they're going to increase that a little bit again so you would see slightly more if this had been generated in pre-release 7. Now let's pop back over to the browser. There is an interesting bug fix here. Azalea trees can generate in more than two blocks of water. I didn't know that this was actually a thing so they can generate slightly submerged and here it's generating in free where the limit should be two so in pre-release 2 it's going to, uh, sorry pre-release 7 it's going to be two. There was also an issue stopping you if you're on a server from generating amplified and large biome worlds and also render distance issues near the world border and that's about it for this pre-release. I also have a tweet from one of the devs I thought was worth sharing. I was supposed to put it in the last video and I forgot. So here we are. King B Dog says, thank you for the feedback on the mob persistence topic. We won't be making any changes for 1.18, but your feedback is valuable for us to look into a future release. And that they want to do it in a release cycle early on. So that probably means in 1.19, when the snapshots start rolling out, they will look into how they're going to change mob persistence, which is when a mob picks up items and then doesn't despawn. So if it picked up your items, your armor, after you were killed by it, you would not want that disappearing. However, in the world, they pick up things like eggs, rotted flesh, glow squid, and then they accumulate in the world. So it's something that needs to be addressed, but it's not happening in this release cycle. Anyway, that is pre-release 7 for 1.18. We're one week away. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.